Hey guys, Teacher Pat here. Today I wanted to show you guys what I'm growing in my garden. Right here I have some string beans and some of them are coming along. We already had some for dinner. And then I have some herbs here. There's mint, parsley, some basil there in the corner. And then these three pots are squashes, different kinds of squash, but um, we just picked ours so we don't have any growing at the moment. And there's parsley, some herbs, some chives, green onions. These are heirloom tomatoes. Normally at the market, they're like $5 a pound. So it was really nice that I was able to grow them. And then these here are cherry tomatoes. You can see they're not quite ripe yet, but almost ready. And that's another tomato. Look at that, they're huge. They're so sweet too. I'm also growing, um, this is Vietnamese coriander. It's great in noodles. Some flowers. That's a lavender plant I actually got from uh, teacher Amy. And then I, I also like to grow succulents. They're really easy, low maintenance. Doesn't require a lot, but they're beautiful. And then this is a sayote plant. Um, still, I don't have any fruit yet, but the vine's been growing really healthy. And I just put a sayote in the, in the dirt and it started growing. And then here is a fig tree. They're not quite ready yet, but you can see I already have some fruits. They're getting pretty big, not quite soft yet. And then this is a blackberry bush. Um, I recently picked them all, so <laughs> there's no fruit on there. Sorry, guys. And then back in the back, I have lemons. Um, that is oranges. You can see some of them are orange, and um, otherwise the rest of them are green. You can see them, and they're tiny, though. And then um, this tree right here is green apples. Apples are great trees to grow, guys. And then this one is actually a blood orange. I'll show you guys um, probably sometime in class. The inside is like a dark red. They're crazy looking. And then this is a persimmon tree. There's no fruits on this one yet, quite yet. And then this one is jujubes. In Chinese, they're called hongzhou or hongzhao, right? And um, these are also great plants to grow too. Not a lot of maintenance. And then here we have another giant persimmon tree. These will be ready to eat um, closer to October and November. And then finally I have a guava tree in the corner. So as you can see, I love to garden guys. I always encourage you guys to garden. Um, it's a great way to include kids and it's relaxing. My son loves to help me water my plants every day. Um, it's a really great responsibility for kids, you know. Um, it requires a lot of patience, a lot of hand-eye coordination, listening. Um, and the best of all is after um, your fruits start coming out, you really see the fruits of your labor and then you get to enjoy them. I know my son really loves to pick the fruits off the, the vegetables and all the plants that I have growing, but you can see I grow a lot of things in pots, guys. This is actually my mother-in-law's backyard, so most of the stuff that's in pots are mine. All the other stuff is hers, so grow things in pots, guys. Have fun. Happy gardening.